Coppers, Zini here, and it's time for another Disney DIY. If you are new to our Park Hopping Mad channel, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Be sure to give us a like and hit that subscribe button and click our bell so that you know when we have uploaded some new content. If you are already part of our Park Hopping Mad team and part of our journey, welcome back. We are glad to have you here too. So let's get into today's craft. Today's craft involves using clothespins to create magnets and the theme that I'm going with for these particular magnets are going to be Disney princess inspired. So first I'm going to give you a quick look at some of the magnets that have already finished so you can get an idea of what the finished product could look like. We'll talk about the supplies that I've used to create these magnets and then I'll show you the steps on how you can create some magnets of your very own. So let's get started. Some of the supplies that you'll need for this craft include clothespins, paints and paint brushes. I used acrylic paint for this craft. You might also want to use some sequins as decoration. You may also want to use ribbon. You'll need a glue gun and any other decorative elements that you want to use to decorate the magnets. And of course, the most important thing that you'll need are some round magnets that you will attach to the back of the clothespins so that you can hang them up on a refrigerator or some type of magnetic board or other metal surface. As you saw earlier, here are the finished sets of magnets that I've done. Here's a version of Ariel with her red hair. I've included some sparkly paint, her shell bikini with some sequins, and then her tail with some teal and green sequins to represent the scales of her tail. And then here are the Beauty and the Beast themed magnets with yellow ribbon and some sparkly yellow foam to represent Belle's gown and some sparkly blue foam with some blue paint and royal blue ribbon along with some gold sequins to represent the Beast's overcoat with the coattails and the gold accents that he has on his coat. The magnets that I'm going to show you how to create in this particular video will be some tangled Rapunzel themed clothespin magnets. What I've done already is I have painted two clothespins in a light purple color and two clothespins in a yellow. The two purple clothespins are going to be used to create what will look like her gown and the two yellow clothespins will be used to create what will look like when Rapunzel has her hair in the braid with the flowers in it. What I've done ahead of time is I have cut out some different styles of ribbon. We've got some yellow ribbon, some purple ribbon, and some light purple ribbon here to create the effect of her gown on two of the clothespins. The yellow ribbon will be used to create the look of her golden yellow hair. I also have some kind of magenta sequins and I also have some gold sequins that we'll be using to create some accents as well to give it some sparkle and make the clothespins look like her gown. I also have some little flower type button shapes that I'm going to adhere to the yellow clothespins to show the accents that she puts in her hair after she braids it just like in the movie. So I have those there that I'll be using as well. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the first two clothespins. The purple clothespins are going to be used to represent Rapunzel's gown. What I am doing here is I've already painted it purple and I'm actually going to use this purple ribbon to cover the length of the front of the clothespin. So I'm going to take my glue gun and go ahead and glue that ribbon on. As you can see, I have glued the dark purple ribbon across the length of each clothespin. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue the sheer yellow ribbon to the top portion of the clothespin and then put the light purple 
right over it so that it kind of gives the impression of Rapunzel's dress. And then we're going to put on some of the magenta and gold sequins to finish it off. Okay, so there you have it. The two Rapunzel clothespins are done being decorated. So you can see I've added the sequins to give it the look of her purple and gold gown. And so now we are ready to decorate the other two magnets to look like Rapunzel's braids. And then the last thing I will do is put the magnets onto the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and decorate these. For these two, I have a piece of the same sheer yellow ribbon to go across the length of the clothespin to kind of give it the illusion and look of Rapunzel's long golden hair. And then I'll be attaching some of these little flowers to give it the look of the flowers being in her hair. And I might throw in some sequins just for some sparkle. If you can't already tell, I really like sparkles and glitter. So let's go ahead and decorate those and then I'll give you a look as to how those turn out. So there you have it, Park Hoppers. I've completed all four clothes pins. I've showed you the Rapunzel gown with the purple and yellow ribbon and sequins. And here are the Rapunzel's braid inspired ones with some flowers and some gold sequins as some accents and the yellow ribbon. I've also added some gold puff paint in the centers of the flowers to give it some extra sparkle. So once that paint dries, it'll be um, very glittery. So the only thing left is to add the magnets. So I purchased these simple magnets come in a pack of 50. And so basically I just take my hot glue gun and adhere it to the back of the magnet and so I'm going to do that for all four of these and then they'll be ready to hang on to my fringe. Here's one last look at the Disney princess inspired clothes pin magnets. Boy, that's a mouthful that I've created. Let me know in the comments who your favorite Disney princess is and I will be happy to capture that princess's look in clothes pin magnet form. Until then, I hope you enjoyed watching. Be sure to give us a like, leave us a comment below, and hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you soon at the parks.